What's up, BC? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel, and it's time for another hard rock and heavy metal vinyl update. Um, this is going to be relatively short. Um, I just wanted to get an update in here. It, it seems like uh, lately I've just been doing uh, VCLT and uh, contest videos, and I have literally two more to post. I, I wanted to do a, a vinyl update, just get that in here, just to... Uh, uh, keep you guys going because I, I know that the the contest videos and the VCLT videos uh, can get boring for some people. They want to see vinyl, so um, this is all stuff that I've gotten over the last three or four months. Uh, a couple I just got within the last couple of days. So um, first up, uh, Armored Saint Live, Saints Will Conquer. Um, I've always loved this live EP. Um, six songs. Uh, I've seen this on vinyl a couple times, and every time I see it, it's it's sealed, and uh, they want way too much for it. One of my local record stores has a sealed copy, and they want uh, like $24 for it, you know. Um, I was lucky enough to run across this copy, sealed, <laughs> for $7, bucks. Uh, so I, I jumped on it. I already had the cassette and the CD, uh, so I just didn't see spending $24. And I like Armored Saint, but... Uh, to spend $24 for one of their EPs just wasn't going to happen. Uh, next up, uh, the debut EP from Cauldron. Um, uh, War on Music just released this a couple years ago. This originally came out, I want to say, in 2006, 2007 maybe, a year or two before their first full-length album. Um, I, I really like Cauldron, especially their last three albums. But man, I, I this one just doesn't do it for me. It's okay. Um, it's not great. They've definitely uh, matured as a band and gotten better uh, over time. It's not a bad album or a bad EP. Don't get me wrong. Um, I just don't think that they, they were... Uh, they just weren't marinated all the way yet, I guess is a good way of putting it. Um, it's worth a spin. It's not something I'll go back to. If I am if I have a hankering for Cauldron, I'll more than likely listen to their last three albums. Um, still cool to have in the collection. Worth picking up if you're a Cauldron fan. Um, like I said, it just didn't really do it for me. In the back, man. I've, I've shown this. I've played it before. Um, but... If you don't own this CD or this, uh, this is actually the LP, um, you really need to get this in your collection. Uh, this is Stars That Move. Um, just killer uh, uh, female fronted doom band. Uh, the, the, the CD, I believe, is on uh, Troglodyte Dawn Records, uh, which if, if you're a fan of uh, Scott Waters, you've seen Trog on the videos. Um, and then the LP was released by Twin Earth Records. I believe uh, Twin Earth Records, the guys, the guy that runs Twin Earth Records, uh, is one of the guys from this band. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. But uh, I just felt like listening to this again, so I threw it on. Killer. Next up, this is one of my favorite albums. Um, period. Uh, this would probably be in my top 20 all-time albums. I love this album. I've heard this a thousand times, and it still sounds as good now as it did when it came out. Um, actually, I should say when it came out, and I'll explain that in a minute. But this is one of those albums that no matter how many times I listen to it, I still hear new stuff all the time. Uh, and I gave this another spin the other day. Um, I've literally listened to this a hundred times. I've seen the band a number of times live. And, and even though they've had five or six albums come out since this one, uh, almost half of this album ends up in their live set. Half their live set is this album. So uh, this is uh, White Pony from Deftones. Uh, this is really when the Deftones matured into the band that they would become. Um, this is their by far their best album. But uh, this is when they went from being a new metal band, and really they, they started to get away from new metal with their second album, but to being a band that was really all their own. There, there's no other band that sounds like Deftones, especially on this album. Um, 
the way they took metal and mixed it with shoegaze and and uh, it, I mean it's just an amazing album. Uh, the reason I say that it didn't sound as good when it first came out, I hated this album when it first came out. I I bought the CD the day it came out. I was super excited. Um, Around the Fur was one of my favorite albums of the time. I played it nonstop when it came out. And then White Pony came out and I put it on and they had totally changed their sound. It was something completely different and I just didn't get it. And I literally took the CD, threw it in the back of my car and uh, I didn't touch it again for about a year and a half, two years. And then when I put it back in, I was blown away by how good it was and how I had wasted two years of listening to it. Um, Songs like RX Queen, Knife Party, Passenger, Passenger, amazing. There's a video for Passenger that just blows me away. Um, Changing the House of Flies. I mean, this album is just full of uh, just classic cuts. Uh, highly recommend picking that one up. And the vinyl sounds really good. I think this is a 2009 pressing, if I remember correctly. I'm not seeing who it was pressed by. Maverick Record Company. No idea who that is. Next up, this is one I was super excited about. Um, I went to a store that way overcharges for records just so I could get this because I knew that they would have copies. And I'm glad I did because most of the other stores that I would have gone to only got one or two copies. Uh, and that's uh, Brave New World from Iron Maiden. I've wanted this on vinyl for so long. I've run across the picture disc a number of times. They always want way too much money for it. Then last year, I believe it was HMV, uh, did a limited release of 1500 And uh, I tried to order one from the UK when they did that. Um, but the prices went up overnight. Uh, they released them one day, and by the next day, they were selling for over 100 bucks. Uh, so when they announced that they were going to release this, I made sure I had money in my account to buy this you know what I mean um, I knew it was limited I knew everybody was gonna want copies uh, so there's one store in my area that I hate I can't stand the owners they're constantly price gouging they rip people off when they buy stuff but on record store day they always get a crazy amount it's one of the one of the bigger or one of the the stores here with the most money so Every record store day, they buy like 10 copies of everything. I mean, just crazy. And they mark them up crazy. And I, this is one thing I hate about record store day. People can say what they want about all the, the ifs, ands, or buts of record store day. The most important thing is I know record stores that are in business because of record store day. Uh, one of my favorite record stores uh, makes enough on record store day to pay their rent for the entire year. And that's not an exaggeration. I'm not talking about Black Friday. I'm talking about record store day. Um... He makes more on record store day, that one day, than he does the entire month of December, which is his busiest month. Um, so it is very important to the to our community and very important to the stores. This particular store, not only do they buy a lot, they way overprice it. So this was $28.29 uh, from what I saw at most stores, uh, from what I, what I saw on the internet and, and from what I saw uh, people showing it with the price tag. A couple, it was like $33, $32. Um, and Record Store Day gives them a max that they can mark this stuff up. This store doesn't give a shit. They mark it way up. They charge $37 for it. I almost never pay that much for an album. For this particular album, I did. Um, they, they got five... And like I said, this is a store that buys monstrous amounts of Record Store Day stuff. And even they didn't get much. Um, they had five copies of this. Um, the Alice in Chains, which I got, they had one copy of. And they ordered, they ordered 10 of all of these. Um, there was a country, uh, an Eric Church album that I wanted. They got zero of. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's just crazy how limited the stuff was this record store day. That even stores like them that get crazy amounts got almost nothing. They have like two little boxes. Usually they have like 10 boxes lining the wall for record store day and Black Friday. So uh, regardless, uh, you know, I digress. I'm really happy to have this. It sounds beautiful. Other than the little noise on the, the first track, the rest of the album is absolutely silent. Uh, it, it just sounds great. If, if you didn't get a copy of this and you run across a copy somewhere, grab it. Awesome. Uh, next up. 
This album is so good, guys. I'm going to put a link down below um, for the LP and the Trog's website where you can uh, where you can get the uh, CD. I have this on CD and on, uh, on vinyl, and I, I play it all the time. Uh, next up, I ordered this the moment it came out. I've been really excited about getting this one. This is uh, the only Acid uh, album that I don't have uh, an original pressing of. Uh, so when uh, Wax Maniacs uh, finally posted it, and it's 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 gone back and forth with them. Um, they announced uh, earlier in the year that this was going to come out a few months ago. Then all that stuff disappeared from their website. Then they announced it would come out about a month and a half ago. It got pushed back again. It finally came out. I ordered it. I had it two days later. Uh, Acid Maniac. This is actually my least favorite of the of the Acid albums, but it's still an amazing album. It's on this. Uh, so I don't know if they called it silver or gray. Um, I don't remember what it was limited to in this color. They also did the the the, the Sodom debut album and the Sodom debut EP. And I considered buying those. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the of early Sodom. They were just super raw. Um, they got better by by their second or third album is really when I started to get into into their stuff. So. Um, I decided to pass on those, even though they're they're super limited and all their stuff has been going way up in price. Uh, investment wise, it probably would have been a good idea, but I'm just not that big a fan. Um, this last one, um, I ran across at one of my local stores for I think eleven bucks. I think it was eleven ninety nine, and I grabbed it. I always hear people talking about this band, and uh, I've got other stuff. Um, CDs from the, the singers other bands that I really like but I've never uh, checked this band out excuse me so when I when I ran across this I went ahead and grabbed it I didn't know what it was other than, other than it was St. Vitus this is a heavier than now and this was a comp that was released by SST and it's basically uh, tracks from their first four albums I was absolutely blown away by this. Um, I've list, listened to this two or three times. I loved everything on here. I'll definitely be pick, looking for the first four albums from St. Vitus. So like I said, I, had, I hadn't heard any of them. Um, I'm definitely familiar with the band. I know who they are. Um, like I guess I was just blown away. My favorite song on here was The Lost Feeling, uh, which is a song about depression. Um, something I dealt with a, a couple times over the years, low level depression. Uh, but that that song, man, that, that really nails it. Just an amazing song. Uh, Wino is phenomenal on here. I, I love this album, or this comp, beginning to end. Uh, and like I said, this really has me wanting to check out the rest of their stuff. So, um, St. Vitus. So that's it, guys. Like I said, I wanted to keep this one kind of short, just give you a quick update. It's been a while, and... Uh, I keep getting sidetracked with these contests and stuff like that. And, and the VCLT, I love the VCLT, don't get me wrong. It's just the time of year. It, somebody mentioned that uh, I've been posting nothing but VCLT videos lately. And like I said, it just it's uh, we're coming up on Christmas. Christmas my birthday. So a lot of my friends here in the VC have been sending me stuff. So, uh, But I haven't forgotten about the vinyl. I, I haven't forgot what my channel's about. Uh, so you'll start seeing more of that stuff. Uh, take care, VC.